Constructing your life is about much more than just building a bank account. Each week, join real estate entrepreneur and mindset coach Austin Linney as he interviews guests who are constructing their dream lives and impacting the world around them on a daily basis. If you're an entrepreneur or wanting to start a business, or you just want to hear motivating stories of how others have overcome the odds, you are in the right place. And now for your host, Austin Linney. Hello, everybody. Welcome. This is Austin Linney with your Friday rant. What I'm going to talk today about is creating a space where you can thrive within chaos. See, a lot of us let ourselves get consumed by the tornado that is our life. We get so accustomed to the tornado, the chaos, the um bad decisions, the spiral, the addiction, the addiction to emotional outburst, that we don't realize that in order for a hurricane to operate, it has to have a center. It has to have an eye of the storm that does not have chaos with inside of it, that's calm. You have to be the person that stands in the middle of that. The only reason why said storm has the power that it has is because the center is empty. And the bands on the outside get more powerful and more powerful. That's how a lot of us treat our life. A lot of us allow ourselves and everything that exists within us to be whipped around by everything. The chaos, the drama of your brother, your sister, your mother, that employee, uh, this boyfriend, right? And you wonder and you ask yourself, why is that person in this relationship for so long? Don't they see how bad that person is for them? And they realize that they're addicted to the drama. They they don't, pardon me, they don't realize they're addicted to the drama. Subconsciously, that's the only way they know how to operate. That's the only way they they know what's going to happen. They create, see, right now we just had chaos. I'm going to leave that in because somebody called and blah, 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 and here we go. But that's what I'm talking about. You have to decline. You have to allow yourself To say, you know what, I'm focused on this right now. I'll handle you in a minute. But here's the problem. Is that you have to understand that you have to create boundaries in your life so other people don't allow their emergencies and their chaos to become your chaos. I want you to think about something and I want you really, really to hone in on this. How many times... As other people's anxiety, other people's emergencies, other people's five alarm fires become yours. There's a thing that people do that a lot lot of people talk about. It's called dumping, emotionally dumping. They run by, they throw it on you so they don't have to deal with it anymore because the anxiety of it is too much for them. So when they offload it onto you, they're done with it. And now you have to take on them. You know what I'm talking about, the brother, the cousin, the brother, the sister, the boyfriend, whatever, that always has an issue, the mom, the dad, that always has something, something emotional is all going on. And you realize that they attract that chaos. They attract that. And you have to stand in the eye of the storm and you have to create such mental ability with inside of you to create a steady look. To say, you know what, I'll deal with that, but give me a minute. When you create your own world, your own bubble, to believe in what you're doing and to create what you're doing, you allow yourself to operate no no matter how big the storm is. So I want you to focus on creating emotional stability and get out of the chaos, stand in the middle of the storm, become better. Hope everybody got some value from this, and we'll see you next time.